good luck tonight. We'll check back in the morning. Octopod signing off. Captain, are you sure he'll be okay all alone out there? He'll be safe inside the guppy, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet night. Nothing out there except one little jellyfish. What could go wrong? Let's power down for the night. On me. Look at all those jellyfish. Shellington is still out there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonaut, to the HQ. <laughs> Professor Inkling, what's going on out there? It seems there was a jellyfish bloom overnight, Peso. Jellyfish bloom? When jellyfish find a place they like, where there's lots of food to eat and nothing around that eats them, lots of jellyfish will go to that place at the same time. It's called a bloom. Barnacles to Shellington. I think you'd better drive the Gup E back to the octopod. You'll be safer here. Well, I would drive back, but uh, I fell asleep with the lights on and now the Gup's batteries are nearly dead. See? Why don't you just swim home? Uh, that wouldn't be a very good idea, Quasi. These are sea nettle jellyfish. Their tentacles will sting you if you touch them. Stay where you are, Shellington. We're coming to get you. Yeah! Watch out for the tentacles! You don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Peso, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashie will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashie. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? Uh, well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. <laughs> Just hold on. A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be. That's no garden eel. That's Captain, Captain Barnacles. Good to see you again, Shellington. Come on, we've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Ah, I'm always careful. Right, Peso? Look out! <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! What was that? Captain? 
Shellington, can you see this from our camera? Looks like some sort of undersea beach ball. Actually, it appears to be a comb jelly. You mean a jellyfish? No, comb jellies are similar. But unlike jellyfish, they don't sting. Fortunately for Quasi. Quasi? Quasi? What are you? Beast or balloon? That's one giant jelly. Oh no, he's hurt. Hmm, the jelly appears to have injured its comb. Comb? Yes, comb. It's made up of tiny tails that surround its body and help it swim. Hello there. Does this hurt? Hurt? Oh, sorry about that. Hurt, hurt! Don't worry, I have just the thing for that broken comb. This waterproof ointment should make you feel better right away. Food! No, no, not food. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. <gasps> oh, that tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There. Feel better. Better, better. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Help! Yow! Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside. Inside Jelly's belly. Let him go, you bulbous beast. Wait. Don't hurt him. I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso? Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso? We're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Drop. Yow. I've got you. I've got you. Jelly, <laughs> stop. That's my friend. Quasi cat. Catfish. No, not a catfish. He's a... Oh, never mind. Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. I've got him, Captain. Oh, no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the octo alert. Jelly, we have to get away. Big fishy want to play? No, this isn't a game. You know, Jelly, I'm beginning to think you're enjoying this jam we're in. Jelly, a jam! <laughs> it's not funny. We need to hide. Inside! Inside? Inside what? Whoa! Whoa! Actually, I said whoa, not... Oh, wow. You can glow. glow. Glow! It looks like he's falling down some sort of tunnel. Then let's head down with him. OK, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There. All better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. Ah, ah, let us know. Oh, come on. Oh, your stingers seem to be working just fine. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. If any big fishes, like that one there, try to eat my friends, I give them the old zapparoo. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. 
Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Press! Okay, Janet. We're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! What is it, Shriek? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Leo? They so? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The Octopod's about to flood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch! Octonauts? These tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Leo! This will be over in a second, and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. <laughs> Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for Super Flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. This one, Paso. You just in time. Hey, man. I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. <laughs> I could use a little uh, snacky snack. Oh, oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? man. <laughs> What happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this! This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No! <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, man! No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a pilot. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. 
Oh no, I'm stuck, and I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an Octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will Preacher keep... Preacher Report! Preacher Report! Preacher Report! Preacher Report! Ah. The Midnight Zone is so deep down. Yeah.